I've seen it all. Let me show you something. Ah, it's so fine. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 this is why the station wagon is a perfect teenager's car okay number one you got the total grandpa look okay you don't look threatening at all driving a station wagon you got wood on the side of your car number two you got the rear facing seat imagine you got your friends in the car and they can sit backwards just looking at traffic awesome okay but what about when the friends are gone and it's just you and the girly friend well, the seats fold down and leaves lots of room for activities. Please don't take this down, TikTok. Okay, but what about when you run out of activities and you guys get really bored? Hopefully that never happens to you, but if it does, you have a moonroof so you can stare up at the stars and talk about life. But when it gets too bright and you want to go to sleep, look what you got. A visor. But this wagon isn't slow, okay? It has the 5.7 liter LT1 from the Corvette. Mo power, baby! And that is the reason why every teenage boy should have a station wagon. Thank you. What the hell am I witnessing? No, 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 no. You know, for a moment, I wasn't going to say anything. I, I thought, you know what, it is what it is. But I really can't let that go, man. I really can't let that go, man. I mean, what the fuck? Come on, man. Come on. You and your fucking process optimization and cost savings. How much would have, how much would it have cost for you to put on actual exhaust blends on the fucking side of each car? I mean, when you built millions of it, it might be maximum 30 bucks. It's just aluminium, man. You could have formed it. You could have put it into there and that's it. Two of them left and right. That's it, man. Come on. What does that look like? That looks like shit. It's like you did it extra just to prove that you can do whatever the fuck you want. You look lonely. I can fix that. We're car guys. We're going to rev when we're outside your house rather than just text you that we're there. I owe so much money on my car that it's ruining my life. Bro, hold on, what? What are you talking about? That's not how this is supposed to go. Bro, my wheels, my exhaust, I'm financing that. Like my credit is horrible. Okay, can you just do this properly? Just try one more time. Okay. We're car guys. We're going to take multiple cars to go to the same place because it's more fun than carpooling. I'm sexually attracted to my car. Dude! What? I can't afford to have a girlfriend. That's all I have. Dude, okay, we'll talk about this later. Let's just give it one more chance. Okay. We're car guys. We keep our cars way cleaner than our rooms because that's our happy place. I fantasize about wrapping my car around a pole and going 150 miles an hour. Dude, are you okay? <laughs> Who relates to that?
All right, my car is dead, so I'm gonna skateboard down this hill. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, shoot, this is actually very dangerous. Um, so there's uh, definitely. Oh, shit, I don't have to reach my window. My door is open. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my fucking God. Guys, Holy shit, you guys just saw that! Holy fucking shit! Guys, my bush light is gone! Oh fuck! Holy shit! Oh, well this car is screwed. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Damn. Oh, that was dumb. That was the dumbest shit I've ever done. Whoo! And I will teach you The Tesla Cybertruck is one of the most tomfoolerous vehicles currently about to enter the market. Let me explain, young buck. Tesla HQ recently just dropped a comparison video showing the Cybertruck out towing the Rivian truck, Ford F-150 Lightning, and even some shitty-ass diesel. Everyone is impressed with these results except me. And the reason why is because these results do not fucking matter when considering the target audience of the Cybertruck. The fact that it can supposedly tow 11,000 pounds doesn't mean shit when the average customer is a pavement princess tech bro with hands softer than his mom. Does my little tech boy want his Tendy Wendy's and chalky milk? Little bro is definitely gonna want them Tendy Wendy's. If Tesla was tuned into their target audience, they'd show off how you can use the tablet as a computer to waste money on Twitch streamers and artificial intelligence girlfriends. Give me your money, daddy. Don't worry. If he blew 100000 on this goofy-ass truck, he'll definitely give your ass his money. We have that car, Daddy. We do. We have the little uh, Hot Wheels, huh? Dad, I want to look on the back of it. Okay. Remember, don't touch. I won't. Okay. Whoa, it's this fast, Daddy. Yeah, you see the exhaust on that one? Yeah, that's the fastest I ever seen. Yeah, dude, that's fast. That's that's a fast too. Yeah, it is, Bubs. Look at those fast race cars. Our race cars, huh? That bus look on the back of those ones. Don't touch. One. Don't touch. Woke up in 2024 and my BMW has a Hurst ball shifter with some weird misfire. How many fucking O's are in the Audi logo? What the fuck? Is this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. This one's this one, right? I don't fucking know! Least obvious one right here. Why are there two arrows? I don't know, like, I don't know! Yeah, what the fuck is that? It's gotta be this one. Yeah, that was upside down. Um... So I've just gotten a blown headlight and today we're going to fix it! Hey, I thought I told you to park outside. Why would I park this beautiful piece of machinery outside? It's a Euro. Yeah, your Subaru belongs outside. This doesn't. Hey, I told you to park outside. So why is this even in here? Can you not drive it outside? Are you missing the engine? Is the engine gone? No, it's there. Yep, that definitely looks like a head gasket issue. <laughs> the reason I didn't want you in here is because you're gonna leak oil everywhere. This car doesn't leak oil, dog. It's a BMW. Let me see inside your car then. I don't think we have to do that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's fine. What's this? That's 
precautionary. It doesn't leak. All right, let me see inside your car then. All right, get out of my way. What's this? Head gaskets? A freaking rod? What? Is this your third motor? So what? Looks like your paint is a little off here. Has this been in an accident? This is rebuilt, isn't it? I'll park. 